from Kev. I think this might be a quick one today because my my battery's dying. I've been binging on some of your videos. Okay. After hearing you talk lots about ball busting methods, if you had complete control over a guy, I guess who paid you and that asked you to attack their groin area, testicles and penis, how would you approach the situation? <clears throat> would you tie them to something or how exactly would you set up the environment to hurt their groin? Also, <clears throat> how would you actually go about hurting their balls and penis? What methods do you like or what methods would you try to use to have fun or experiment with the opportunity? Okay, we're just talking about what do you always talk about? What would I do if I were paid to punish someone's whole entire penile region? I, as you know, um, I've always, I've always been interested in being a dominatrix. I love number one the look of it. I think it's so sexy. Number two, I've always had a little issue with men. So sometimes I feel like I dislike men. I want nothing to do with them. I think they're evil. I think they're out to get us. I think Vicious. I think they don't give a shit what some women think, and I think that what they feel or think is more important than what a woman feels or thinks. I think that their existence, they feel, some men feel that their existence is more important than a woman's, and I can guarantee you that it is not, because you cannot be produced. So now, what do I do if someone paid me to punish their nuts? What tools would I use? Well, I remember tying some up with chains one time. So I got the chains, and he had some railings, um, bars on his window. And I had him put his hands up above his head, and I tied individually each of his wrists, and then both of them together, I tied this position above his head. And um, then I made sure to tie his legs with ropes because I had run out of the chains. I tied his legs with ropes onto the side of the bed, on either side of the bed, so he could not move well. And then I had my leg. That was fun. But if someone were to pay me to be cruel to their penile region, the thing is, I mean, I don't like to give out all of my secrets too much, you know, because, you know, certain things that I say may be, you know, better fitting for other videos. I, I like to say scissors and snipping something, but then in my head, I don't understand someone wanting or enjoying the idea of their penis being snipped. Like, I don't see that. That doesn't make sense. I know some of you guys love the extreme, but you know, sometimes I just find myself in my head trying to make sense of it. Why? I need to understand why. I would definitely use a hammer. Um, I would say the, the, the smooth side of the hammer to um, beat the crap out of his. I would definitely also use. Um, like I said, a whip, it's good to whip a person down between the legs, I know that stings a lot, right? Rubber bands, ropes to tie it up and um, just put pressure on it. When you tie it up, you want to tie it very tightly. You know, pull out the rope every time you make it not pull it and make sure it's secure, right? Um, also, I think heels are very important. Tools that I would use, belt buckle, fork, knife, scissors hammer, both sides, uh, a wrench, a wrench could do a good job, um, you could use the wrench to hit it as well as to snip it, with it. Um, also a switch, a whip, a paddle, so you know I'm not going to make this too extreme, I'm going to go mild, right, and think about things that I would be interested in doing with someone things that I've seen and I would like to try out. So, while watching, sorry, while watching this show, and y'all should watch it, it's called How to Make a Sex Room or a Sex Dungeon. I can't remember. It's a this Netflix show. Um, I was just so intrigued watching that show because I was like, damn, I want a sex room. It's a bitch. Okay, I'm dressed as that. But while watching that, I saw the sex bench. 
And so what you do with the sex bench is the woman usually sits on the sex bench and, you know, tries different positions for erotica, okay? But what I would want to do with the sex bench is I would have, want to have him sit on the sex bench. And on this bench, you can put one leg on either side of the bench. I want one leg on either side of the bench, right? I would tie his ankles at the bottom of that bench if in fact it can allow me to do that just so that he can stay right there and not move and I would have him lay back and I would get a very long whip, right? Now I'm not using this whip to just lightly tap. I want to get the whole midsection, the whole penile loose and I just want to whip it down. I want to whip it down until it's so I would definitely want to try that. I think that you need definitely to have tools and interesting things when you're being paid to do something. Make it interesting, right? So um, aside from, you know, tying him up and all that jazz, I would definitely tie up those nuts with, with fishing cord. Fishing cord is something it will definitely cut into the flesh. You know, and if it does, it just does. If you want that much in hurt and pain, then let's go for both. So I would tie them up with fishing cord. So then that would cause like a lot of just, it would cause abrasions, I think, for sure. So after I've tied the nut and penis together with the fishing cord, I would then want to use my heels, some very stiletto heels. What would be cool is some, some steel stiletto heels. I don't know if I've ever seen them, but that would be interesting because they would be nice and strong over. And I would want to stand on his uh, midsection and press my heels into those nuts. I would also have him sit on the floor, um, extend his peen and testes in front of him, and I would want to just first step on the whole the penis with my heels, right? I mean, think about it. These are thin stiletto heels stilettos hello i would love to use that wrench to then um if i'm not mistaken a wrench is just something that you use to like tighten things right so we're not going to use it to tighten anything we're going to put it um around the penile as far as it can reach the penis as far as it can reach we're going to squeeze it together and we can see how much that hurts and just kind of pull at it a little bit that's horrible. I have this um, little interest with pins. It's sticking um, a puffed up testicle with straight pins. I kind of just pop, pop, popping it, right? I find that interesting. Um, have you ever used a two by four that could do some real damage on a midsection, right? Just have them kind of, um, kind of sit up. Okay, on their back, put your legs up, right? Put your legs up, open your legs, so your legs would be in the air. You open your legs, and I go at it with a two by four. Can you imagine? Just kind of slam down on that with a two by four. I'd love to try that, right? Um, that would be interesting. Also, I feel like, I wonder what Kalina is. Also, I feel like, um, I just like to experiment on things to see what works, what gets the best reactions or not, right? And so I would love to just be able to experience with a lot of, um, experiment with a, a lot of different things, kind of. I'd love to hear from you what you like. Do you like it extreme or do you like it mild? Because, you know, someone who wants it mild can't handle all the torture, right? I'm going to give you what you came for, okay? So, um, I, I, I definitely would, um, would try going at it like a punching ball, you know, just punching at it, make him stand up, right? Just like, kind of like how I said, stand up in the shower, right? <laughs> One leg on each side of the tub and the penis <laughs> are hanging down. So what I would do, right, I would tie something heavy what can i use that would be heavy i can tie it on the tip of the penis and cause it to just kind of like stay extended and and um in a more vertical position so i would tie something heavy like a weight or something tie um some some um some thread or some rope around it that i would tie that to his penis and it would kind of pull on the penis area right 
But what I would really want to do with his penis hanging is I would want to, um, I just go at him like that. Like punch at them, like as if it's a punching ball. A punching ball. Wouldn't that be interesting? I think so. I think that it would be interesting. How could you get a penis under tires, car tires? How can you position some of Ooh, I know. Let me tell you something. So if he no that that won't work. That will not freaking work. Okay, how can we we can't do it. We cannot do it. There's no way to get, unless you're also rolling over his legs. But can you imagine, right? If we could somehow rest his whole penile region, tied up testicles, on the road, right? And if we could, with our vehicle, really closely next to him, roll up on that peen drive over it can you imagine how would that even be possible there's no way to do that right but in my mind if there was a way to do it that would be amazing okay um so i would definitely want to do that i i would just want to pull out all the stops get real interesting with me right anyway guys um um a lot of dudes out here looking like they could get kicked in the nuts <laughs> I'm sure one out of how many, what do you think, guys? One out of how many men enjoy being kicked in the nuts or enjoy ball busting? How many? Um, I don't know. I don't have a clue because I didn't have any idea of this whole ball busting thing until I uh, caught up with you guys. Um, but, um, Anyway, just just a few things. Like I said, I want to go mild. I I don't want to take away from what I have to come, but um, yeah, there are just so many videos that go deep into torturing. And like I say, guys, I have to take it lightly here on YouTube because, and I don't know, it's kind of strange to me because I do look on YouTube and I do see some other crazy shit. Like I see like sex on YouTube. I've seen sexy thumbnails like of people having sex on YouTube, but then I can't do certain things. So I, I don't understand um, the difference. I don't understand the difference. Like, how come some people can and some people can't? Like, what's with that? I don't know what the hell's going on in these streets today, but it's annoying so much. Some people can and some people can't. Like, I don't understand discrimination. Can we talk about anything we want, please? Some of you, um, sent me requests where I have to do them out of my vehicle um, and like I've mentioned before I'm not at a time in my life where I'm able to do that I'm always on the road I do not have a location at the moment where I would be comfortable doing it or an appropriate place shall I say to do those meanwhile I will see you guys later and um, great things to come thank you guys for my new subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. And um, I hope you've enjoyed our videos. Please venture and see um, you know, what other, what other topics we've talked about. My earlier videos were a lot more extreme. Um, so if you're interested in the very brutal um, aspects of bold busting, please mosey on to my earlier videos. Otherwise, I love you guys. Take care. Please remember to like and subscribe like I said share you don't necessarily have to share this content is not for everyone but I love you and, uh,